Welcome to the Darwinian Delusions channel. Today's episode is going to be different to the rest of the episodes on this channel. It's actually going to be a challenge for Darwinists. Now, the challenge is simple. Bacteria versus Asian weddings. Now, first thing I have to do is explain why Asian weddings are different to, say, Chinese weddings or English weddings or Eskimo weddings. You see, in Asian weddings, the criteria for the male and female to get married is like quantum mechanics. It's like shape-shifting. It's like so difficult. You know, the man has to, you know, have, have a job and have, have a good job above a certain salary, has to have a car, has to have um, his own place. And, you know, he has to have, you know, the highest IQ and he has to have a degree and he has to have this and he has to have that. And, you know, he has to design a rocket to go to the moon and so forth. And the woman, she has to, you know, she has to look in a certain way and she has to be able to wash the dishes and also like comb the hair of a mother-in-law at the same time. She has, there's just a whole bunch of things for the woman as well, right? Just crazy criteria. Anybody who's Asian, they know getting married is difficult. It is very difficult. So, if Darwinian evolution is true and bacteria is something which led to the evolution later on from bacteria, we had elephants, we had giraffes, we had human beings, and we had Asians with this complicated, difficult way of reproducing. But remember, evolution is driven by survival of the fittest. Fittest meaning those who survive and those who reproduce. So based upon survival and reproductive value. Now, how do bacteria reproduce? They just have asexual reproduction. They just keep multiplying. They don't have crazy weddings. We don't have asexual reproduction. We actually have to go out and get partners. And we set up all these barriers to get that partner. And then it takes nine months and then you get a child. Bacteria are so much better, so much more efficient than us in terms of reproduction, just asexual reproduction. So why would natural selection, which is a very conservative force, I remember Charles Darwin didn't even want to call it natural selection at one point, he wanted to call it natural preservation, because, you know, it's, it preserves. If it's there, it preserves. And you can't use that silly argument, oh, you know, different environments have evolved. Bacteria is everywhere. They're outside of us. They, you will find bacteria all across the world. In fact, there's 40 trillion bacteria inside human beings. So you can't say it evolves because we went to a different environment. No, bacteria is everywhere, so you can't try that, okay? So why did we have this evolution from bacteria to human beings, asexual to sexual? How did that happen? And you know, I'm not gonna say asexual to sexual, asexual to friggin' difficult Asian sexual, right? Like wedding-wise. What's actually going on? Anyway, I hope to look, uh, I, I, I'm really tired, it's like one o'clock at night and I'm filming this. I hope you, I'm going to look forward to the comments you guys are actually going to leave.